Now in this session, I'm going to show you how to create a, an open window uh, schedule to activate group four. So this type of schedule might be used for uh, enabling a group of employees only once a supervisor is on site or someone else is on site. So to do this, um, you have your schedules window open and you will create the, um, the time zone, which is the win portion. Um, this is a double ended uh, a time zone. You have a start time and a stop time. Now your start time will be the time that you want the group one credentialed person to be able to activate group four or enable group four. And the stop time, which is uh, your uh, end of that window, where the window will stop. So if a group one credentialed person cr presents their credential outside of this window from your start and stop time, it will not activate group four. Okay, so you have to use uh, your group one credentialed person has to use their uh, credential inside this window of time. So say we want this window to be 6 a.m. So we will change our time to 6 a.m. here. And then I will right click on the time and I will set all as current. That will change everything to the start the start time to the 6 a.m. And then I change my stop time to say 10 a.m. Okay, so right again, right click, set all as current. So this is my window. So anytime between 6 a.m. and 10 a.m., if a group one credentialed person presents their credential to the lock, it will activate or enable group four. Okay? And we're only going to set this for Monday through Friday, and it's going to be all the time, every week. Now we come down to the schedule entry. And we describe this, say this is going to be, I uh, got my cap lock on, group four, uh, enable by group one. Okay. We do not need a user or group in this situation um, and for this particular event. Uh, so we move over to event and we drop down to enable group four by group one open window. And we pick our time zone, which is time zone number one. Okay, so this is half of the schedule. The other half, we need to add another time zone. And then this is a single ended time zone. We only need the start time. So I'm going to click in any of the stop times. And I'm going to right click and then clear all stop times. So I erase all of my stop times. So my start time is going to be when I'm going to disable group four's credentials. Okay, so I'm going to change this to say uh, 5 p.m. So I change it to 5 p.m. Right click, set all as current, and this is going to be Monday through Friday as well. Now I come down to my schedule entry, and I'm going to uh, disable group four and then I do have to pick group number four and then I pick disable group and then time zone number two now in uh, this version which is version 5.5.3 we have two options for you to uh, generate the schedule we have generate and open schedule view or generate schedule and close I, as a habit, like to look at my schedule view, so I'm going to click Generate and Open Schedule View. You sure you want to overwrite? Click Yes. And now you can verify your times. So I have Monday through Friday, 6 a.m. The window opens for Group 1 to enable Group 4. At 10 a.m., the window closes. And then at 5 p.m., it disables the group. Okay. So that's how you create a... Uh, enable group four by group one open window schedule.